Hey guys, it's Flockrocker42 here. Uh, I haven't posted uh, yesterday or today because we've been having some work done on our driveway and the people accidentally cut through our um, Virgin Media Wi-Fi cable thing. So yeah, I've got a new clock. I did not. It wasn't. It didn't cost money. It's an heirloom that's been passed down from my great grandma to my grandparents, then to me. It's a Lincoln Wall clock. It was no. It wasn't passed down. My great grandma bought it from my grandparents. It was given to them uh, um, on the fourteenth of January, nineteen ninety-five, and I'll show you it now. Here it is. Now it would have had. Um, it would have had a. Uh, decoration on the top but it does not have it because it broke off there's an area on the top here where it where it was broken off it has a uh, um, small uh, hook to keep the door on some nice uh, paint like a decoration on the glass and here is the guarantee which is it's a Lincoln wall clock and then 1995 uh, 14th of the first that is it, this might be a bit weird for, the, for for any american viewers all right thanks sorry i was just talking to my grandma shout outs to my grandma she's awesome uh yeah i'll set off the striking it uh it also looks quite similar if you watch danny from danny's clock he has one like this except it is a polaris this has a chinese movement now and I've actually got a copy of the movement here. It might be slightly different. This is from my old Lincoln wall clock. Here are the hands. I'm going to keep these hands uh, for if I ever need them. Because I like to keep things. Yeah, that nut on there is an original. The nut on the hands, which I can zoom in on here, is actually from the Lincoln wall clock. But because it doesn't... I don't need it anymore. I'll just put it on here. Oh, and the finials are a bit loose. So I will have to get something to keep them on. All right, I'll set off the striking now. Because this has rack and snail striking, I can turn it back. Nine minutes to eight. This is quite high up, and I'm not very tall. I'm I'm like really short for an eleven year old. So yeah, this is uh, below my calendar near my drum set. I get some of my guitars next to my Vienna. And also, this clock is uh, this clock is up here on this shelf now above my PC. Uh, it is um, the door does not uh, keep closed. It's really annoying. Uh, I don't know whether there are any more updates. Oh, uh, I've put the original chime rods back in the grandmother clock. The ones that were in it were from my old Lincoln wall clock. So yeah, I'll demonstrate that now. Yep. Also, an in-depth video on this clock has been filmed. I will post that tomorrow along with this video. Or I might post this, yeah, maybe, uh, I'll either post the video on this and this clock collection that I'm filming right now, uh, today or tomorrow. So, uh, put, make sure the notifications are on if you're subscribed to me, which please do, uh, and yeah, then it will notify you. Also, uh, I'm just trying to think of any improvements. The link to my Discord server, which I've posted in a short video, it, it does not expire anymore. I have turned the expiry thing off. So now, as it was in that YouTube video, it will be the same forever now. So it won't be, like, changed. So if anyone wants to join it, I know Linus from Lynn's Clock and Music channel has already joined it. We've been chatting. It's called the Clock Community Server, because I have changed it. It used to be Moppy's Gaming Server. I'm going to make a different server for gaming. So if you want to join that, then anyone who joins my server, uh, I will put it in the general section. Yeah. 
so yeah uh join the server if you like we can all chat it's a pretty cool place uh there's there's a voice call mm, we can all talk about clocks you can show everyone your collection your favorite clocks and stuff so yeah that's the end of the video today guys i'll see ya see you next time please subscribe